Crate IPA. Shop to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands, Marks and Booze Reviews. Tonight, I've got a can of crate. This is the IPA from the uh, brewery in Hackney that um, is just over the river from the Olympic Stadium. You know, the place where the Olympics were held in 2012. That was when they were formed in 2012. As you may or may not know, the Olympic Stadium is near the home of West Ham United. It is a shit pit and I refuse to go there ever again because it's not a football stadium, it is an Olympic stadium. Anyway, more on that later. Um, this looks uh, pretty decent, it's an IPA, uh, it's 6%, it's in a 330ml can. The tasting notes, it says on this a complex bulb with lots of juicy hops, one to sip, sup and savour. Um, ingredients are water and malt with barley, Wheat, hops, and yeast. So it's got wheat in it. Mm, okay. I wonder what's going on there. Let's get it open and let us see what's going on. Oh. Oh, I thought that's going to go everywhere. It's not. It's all right. It was just a little bit. Right. Immediately, without even sniffing, I'm getting aromas of fruit and hops already which is a good sign yeah resiny hops with mango and pineapple it smells very nice let's get it in the glass and see what is happening with it I'm using this glass that I got from Aldi the other day I really like these glasses they like snifters without the, um, the stem and there it is in a glass. One finger head, white head, cloudy. Almost the same colour as a wheat there. Oh, very sweet fruit. Passion fruit and orange. All coming from these hops. This smells really good. I'm going to dive in and give it a go. Yeah, that's really nice. There's mango, passion fruit, the usual stuff you get from the, the hops. I'd love to know what hops are in that. Quite a bit of resin on them hops as well. Mouthfeel is quite nice. Um, I think the wheat is doing that. Long aftertaste of fruit, sweet fruit. Bit of malt on there as well. Um, <clears throat> like biscuit malt. And there's strong grapefruit in that as well. All through it. And it's nice. They're very resiny, the hops. They've got that resin type sort of feel and taste to it. Um, it's quite good actually. I quite like this. The actual brewery is very small, um, but they, they sell this in Tesco's now, which is great. And the brewery is like on a small industrial estate, and um, it's also a pizzeria as well. So they do pizza and they do craft beer. And they brew, apparently they brew their stuff in small batches. This has been brewed for Tesco's. That's great that they've broken into that market, because they're so small. If you saw the brewery, it's tiny. And that is really nice. Really nice indeed. I'm going to give that a solid 8.5 out of 10. I recommend it 
these are really good. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to get these sort of outside London. I don't know how much they've brewed of this, but if you can track it down, get some. It is great. It's really good. There's the can. That's what the can looks like. Yeah, it's got the crate name there. It's an, just an IPA. No date or no canning date on it. Um, yeah, all good. No complaints. Eight and a half out of ten and recommended. And remember, beer is working class champagne. <laughs>